my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Lotto decides to address all of the negativity that she is getting behind dropping her Sunday service song. Before we dive deeper into this topic, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Yes, we know that Lotto just dropped her Sunday service song and it definitely has a lot of fans talking. A lot of people thought that it was going to be a diss song towards Ice Spice completely, but Lotto had to hop on live and address that and she let it be known that she never said that it was going to be a diss song. Now, she does make it clear that it does have a few jabs in there towards most likely her opponent Ice Spice, but she said it is not a diss song. Now, a lot of other people thought it was going to be paying homage to female rappers and she also addressed that too and she said that she never said that the song was going to be paying homage to female rappers well a lot of people were confused about this because as we've seen in her wallow and gilly interview lotto did say that the cover art was paying homage to female rappers but she never said that the song exactly was going to be paying homage to female rappers and i have to say this is a little confusing like i said in my last video usually your cover art is going to relate to the song but in this case i guess lotto just wasn't thinking of that and it completely did not relate to the song now she also decides to get into on this live and also in her wallow and gilly interview and i encourage you guys if you haven't seen that interview definitely check it out she addresses the whole tiktok that started the recent beef between her and ice spice letting it be known that she didn't even know that ice spice's music video was in the background when she recorded that tiktok now she even put it on her mama like victoria monet would say on my mama yes she put it on her mama and she said her mama can drop off this earth if she is lying now i'm just going to take lotto's word for this unless you're very very evil i don't think anyone would put that on their mom or put something on their mom and still be lying so like i said i'm gonna take her word for it she said that she didn't know but how coincidental that ice spice's music video was playing at the exact same time that lotto said that she wanted her one-on-one -on -one. like i said very coincidental really do like lotto's sunday service song some of y'all can't believe it i like the song but i don't like the music video i feel like the music video was all over the place and we definitely thought it was going to be paying homage and i would have to say for lotto definitely she could have made her cover art relate to the song and i think the cover art honestly was just more for attention and i think that's something lotto doesn't want to say i want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section do you believe lotto or do you feel like she's still lying some people still feel like she's lying i wouldn't put it on my mama let's go ahead and move on to sweetie now sweetie decided to recently join shannon sharp and chad johnson live in vegas on their nightcap show just to completely get disrespected by shannon sharp on that show now we're gonna go ahead and get into this article to get more information from vibe.com shout out to them it says shannon sharp grill sweetie over past relationship with Quavo which he actually did y'all Shannon Sharp has grilled sweetie about her past relationship with Quavo Sharp and Chad Johnson questioned the West Coast rapper during a recent live recording of Nightcap sweetie took issue with the ex Denver Broncos athlete after he referred to her as the one that used to date Quavo now yes sweetie she couldn't even sit down first she sat down and he asked oh sweetie the one who dated Quavo and it's like hold on what other sweetie is there and why are you referring to this woman who has her own accomplishments as someone who dated Quavo that's all you got for her then Shannon Sharp says you don't want to be referred to as that in the sway with me artist then quickly responded saying of course not she then corrected him with proper identifiers that better represented her career she Shannon then asked her if there was a possibility of her spinning the block for Quay. Sweetie was visibly taken back by the OG's messy questions but continued to play along. I don't really spin the block. I don't have a record of doing that. The former football player followed up and asked about the Bentley that the Migos artist gifted her in 2021. Now this was very messy. This let me know that Shannon Sharp knew exactly what he was doing. When Sweetie first sat down and he was like, oh, the one who dated did Quavo I was like uh maybe he just didn't know what to say maybe his nerves were just all over the place which is never really good for an interviewer but I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt 
out. But once he got into the Bentley situation, you can tell he did his research and he was trying to be messy towards Sweetie. What made him want to try Sweetie, I just don't know, child. Anyways, after their breakup, the Atlanta native reportedly had a vehicle repossessed. He reportedly resold the car for $270,000. Sharp wondered about the vehicle quickly forming a question regarding the situation. He was nice. I don't know what transpired and you don't have to get into that. The first take co-host said, but how you gonna get up off the gift that man gave you? Why would you get rid of the gift? Sweetie let it be known and she said, I didn't wanna get rid of the gift. The California based artist clapped back. Now you know what happened. Needless to say, I bought myself a big Cullinan Rolls Royce so it don't even matter. I know that's right, sweetie. After an awkward exchange, Chad Johnson interjected before Shannon described Quavo's actions as an ocho move. He then referred to the co-host as an Indian giver before quickly changing his mind on the outdated term. Quite the exchange. Sweetie and Quavo began dating fall of 2018. The couple would then break up in March of 2021. Now, we don't need to get into all of that. Yes, we know when Sweetie and Quavo got together and we know when these two broke up, but I was completely disappointed in Shannon Sharp with this interview. When did Shannon Sharp get so messy? I know you guys are probably going to say on Club Shay Shay he's messy, but if you really watch those interviews, he's not as messy. He got really, really messy with Sweetie. Now, like I said, I feel like this interview was completely disrespectful and embarrassing towards Sweetie for her to just be referred to as the ex-girlfriend of Quavo because Sweetie does have her own accomplishments. I mean, she's got nominated for Grammys. She's got nominated for People's Choice Awards. Like, she has accomplishments. Her songs have been on the Hot Billboard 100s. So, I don't know why people are just acting like Sweetie hasn't done anything but date Quavo, but that's completely false and untrue. She has her own accomplishments. She has her own song. She's her own person. She's her own celebrity. She's her own artist. Now, what makes people want to try Sweetie? I don't know. I think it's because she's more of a laid-back person. She's kind of quiet, seems a little shy a little bit, so people feel like they can play with her. But I will also say this. This is a prime example on why you shouldn't really date anyone higher than you or just anybody in the industry in general in the beginning of your career. I will have to admit, Sweetie did start to date Quavo early on in her career when she was still coming up. So, of course, a lot of people started to refer to her as Quavo's girlfriend and didn't really identify her as her own artist. People started to just refer to her as Quavo's girlfriend. And I think that Sweetie probably should have just kept the relationship on the down though or probably never even dated Quavo in the beginning. And I only say that not to be disrespectful, but because the relationship didn't work out anyways. It's saying that infidelity played a part in their relationship, which was embarrassing for her. And to put the icing on the cake, he even decided to take back the Bentley that he gifted her when they broke up which was another embarrassment towards sweetie but come on shannon sharp you gotta do a little more research and you gotta stop being messy child leave that for us bloggers anyways let's go ahead and move on to Nicki minaj's sister now yes if you didn't know that Nicki minaj has a sister she does and her name is ming and it looks like she is pursuing a rap career now she has been adamant and getting on instagram live for the last couple of weeks and letting it be known that she is not involved in any of her sister Nicki Minaj's beef. She wants to let that be known. And as she's starting off her rap career, she will no longer be known as Nicki Minaj's little sister. Yes, this is what she decided to get on Instagram live yesterday and say, she said she wants to be known as Ming Luan Lee. And she has plans and goals and aspirations to do big things with herself and her career. She said that she's not getting any secret help and she's going to work her way to the top. She also has been very adamant about not being caught up in any beef. She wants to let it be known that she is not involved in any of the beef that her sister is involved in with Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. Now later on in this live we see Masika from Love & Hip Hop join her and she's basically calling her pretty. She's saying oh we need to do a song together. 
her. Now, I love everything that Nicki Minaj's sister is saying in this live, and I have to say, she seems like a very, very sweet girl. And I love the fact that she wants to work her way to the top and be her own person and be known as her own artist and not just be in the shadow of Nicki Minaj and be known as Nicki Minaj's sister. But I will have to say, with her coming in the music industry, if I was Nicki Minaj, I would kind of think twice about letting her sister just come up in the music industry by herself. Even though she said that she doesn't want to be referred to or just known as Nicki Minaj's sister, come on, because people already know that she's Nicki Minaj's sister, people are going to refer to her as that and they're going to remember that. I mean, come on, Masika decided to join that Instagram live because she knows that it's Nicki Minaj's sister. And I can guarantee she probably didn't even hear any of her music, but she's talking about they need to collaborate on a song. But she's doing that because it's Nicki Minaj's sister. And you best believe that there's going to be other people in the industry who is going to do the same thing. When they find out or when they know that this is Nicki Minaj's sister, they can try to be petty towards Nicki Minaj by collaborating with her, doing a song with her. Then how was Nicki Minaj? Minaj going to feel if her sister collaborates with Cardi B or Megan Thee Stallion and I know honestly for me and I can't speak for anybody else but this is just me speaking for myself if I was pretty big in the rap industry and Nicki Minaj is a huge artist a huge female rapper I definitely would want to help my sister out now if my sister came to me and said look I don't want any help I want to be known as my own artist then I can understand that but I still would be trying to help behind the scenes knowing how grimy and messed up the industry can be. Also couldn't help but to notice people in the comment section saying that Nicki Minaj and her sister actually fell out. So this may be the reason why her sister decided to go on Instagram live and say this. But I really hope that her sister makes it in the rap career like she wants to. She seems like a really, really sweet girl from what I've seen on the Instagram live. But y'all let me know what y'all feel about this in the comment section. Maybe you feel like I'm right. Maybe you feel like I'm wrong. Let me know what you feel about all these topics, my love tts in the comment section once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and like I always say i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night